Hey everyone, this is Ryan Smith, founder of Overdraw and 12-year game industry veteran, currently working for Gearbox Software as a research and development director. Ever since I saw Interstellar, I've been completely enthralled by black holes and how their incredible mass warp space-time to the point where light can't even escape its gravity. I've worked on recreating that effect over the past few years, and I've even gotten help from scientists and researchers on how to improve it. And this training series aims to share those techniques with all of you so you can create your own. This training is meant for intermediate to advanced technical and VFX artists, but isn't impossible for beginners. The whole thing is a shader, but the complex nature of it requires much of it be done in HLSL via Visual Studio Code and Unreal Engine, both of which are completely free. The first few chapters are free to everyone, and in them we'll start by learning how to set up Visual Studio Code to streamline the coding process. At the end of the free chapters, you'll have a physically accurate gravitational lensing effect for a Schwarzschild black hole. The premium content starts after that, where we'll learn how to make a nice accretion disk texture using Blender. We'll then head back into Unreal, where we'll add the accretion disk to the black hole. We'll look at deriving proper UV coordinates for texturing, adding fogging effects, lighting, shadows, and animation. We'll then look at how we can modify the code to allow for full transform controls so you can set up the black hole any way you want in your scenes. We'll then look at animating the accretion disk with accurate orbital velocities based on distance to the singularity. We'll look at customizing the texture's look and color with a curve atlas. And at the end, you'll be able to change colors, lighting properties, thickness, density, and a few other rendering properties to customize your black hole any way you want. The majority of this series is spent writing HLSL code, which was really scary for me when I first started doing it 10 years ago, but once you start, it gets easier every line of code you write. If you're one of the folks who have been on the fence about dipping your toes into writing shader code, trying to learn advanced shader techniques in Unreal, or just generally obsessed with black holes like I am, then this is the tutorial for you. So let's get started.